Hey everyone, back again, uh, taking a break from winterizing for the weekend, I guess. I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on here. A uh, customer dropped it off the other day and said he's having trouble getting it to rev past 2300 RPM. It was running fine two months ago. Took it out last weekend and it wouldn't run. Uh, he said he put new plugs and a fuel filter on it, no change. So we're just gonna go over a few very basic procedures here to kind of diagnose what's happening. So to get started here, I took the airbox off. I wanted to just take a peek inside the carbs and see if I saw anything obvious. Uh, next, I was spraying carb cleaner down each of the throats of the carbs to see if that would change how it ran. And what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to choke out each cylinder one by one, see what happens. So when I did the upper and middle cylinders, you know, it would start to choke out and sputter and die. When I got to the bottom, almost nothing happened no matter how long I held that rag on there. So I'll go back to the middle cylinder next and just show you what should happen when you do that. So what I'm assuming is there's a problem here with the bottom cylinder. Either it's not firing, it's not getting fuel. So we'll look into that next. So what I'm gathering from the last few tests I did is there's obviously a problem with the bottom cylinder here. It's either not firing or not getting fuel. So first thing I'm going to do is pull the plug, uh, do a compression check, check for spark. If that all checks out, I'm likely going to dig into the carburetor. So here's my handy little spark tester. It's a cheap little tool, it comes in super handy. Just unplug the spark plug, plug this into the plug wire, and put the other end on the plug. And when I start it, you should see a constant spark in there. So for whatever reason when I'm recording this, it looks like the spark is kind of intermittent, but uh, just trickery with the camera. It is getting constant spark. Uh, I will check the other two cylinders just to make sure I'm getting the, the same amount or if it's a brighter light on the upper two than the bottom, but for now I think it looks pretty good as far as spark goes. So here's my compression tester, another simple tool, a must have if you're doing your own repairs, but just pull the plug out, screw the tester in, uh, turn the kill switch off, you do not want the engine to start. And then I'll just crank it for a few seconds and see what we get. So with most of these outboards you're going to check for three things. You're going to check for spark, fuel, and compression. So we did the spark, it's getting good spark on all three. Uh, it's got acceptable compression, could be a little higher, but you know it's above 100, it's within 10% of each other. So with spark and compression, it's obviously getting fuel because it's running. I'm just a little concerned about the bottom carburetor. You know, when I try to choke that one out, almost nothing changes. Choke the other two out, the engine dies. So more than likely a clogged jet or something's going on in that bottom carburetor. So our next step is to tear them off and probably clean them up. So this is more of a diagnosis video than a carburetor rebuild video. Uh, just going through a couple troubleshooting ideas with you. Obviously if the bottom carburetor is clogged, it's really only running on two cylinders. It ain't gonna wind out like it should. Uh, you can kind of tell from my videos it idles decent. As soon as you start to rev it, it sounds like it's missing, it's sputtering, popping. So every engine's a little different. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of work getting these off, but I'll, I'll go through them one by one. So we'll fast forward a few hours here, had the carbs off, went through all three of them one by one. Uh, a little bit of sludge in each one of them. You know, the third one, hard to say if it was worse than the others, but it is running a lot smoother now, revving up fairly decent. You know, time will tell, we'll see once it's on the lake how it performs. Just wanted to test my theory here. I uh, could go back and stuff the rig over the bottom carb, and this is what happens now.
Well, I got everything back together. Got it in the garage for the weekend until the owner can come pick it up. Hope the video helped a little bit. I get a lot of outboards in here that have this very similar issue. It's almost always a carburetor. Uh, but before you start tearing carburetors off and ripping them apart, you do want to check the other obvious stuff. Make sure it has spark, uh, good compression. Take a fuel sample. Uh, make sure your tank is venting. Make sure your primer bulb is getting firm when you pump it. You know, basic stuff. But uh, if none of that helps, likely you need your carbs gone through. So thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe, and we'll see you next time.